Hi YouTubers, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Looks like it's going to be a busy day. I was working on uh, reporting earthquakes for Yellowstone and I guess over there by Fiji. Um, and this earthquake came in for Utah. A magnitude 3.6 at so far. 60 people said they felt the strange thing about uh, this earthquake is before it was even reported on USGS. Yeah, I got um, the feeling of vertigo right uh, right before it. Yeah, and I'm all the way over here in South Dakota. Here's the felt reports that they got. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wasatch Fault it would be. Let's see here. We got, um, that would be Corinne. Let me go to Google Earth. Right there. Yeah, at uh, 631. Um, I heard some rattling and felt jiggling vibration here in South Dakota. And that's what woke me up. Um, yeah, some sort of small earthquake. I did report it to USGS. Anyways, uh, yeah, this happened as I was uh, working on the Yellowstone report. We're here we got um, Brigham City, Utah. Now, intensity level 4 would mean that it was felt indoors by many, outdoors by a few. At night, they would have been woken up. Dishes, windows, doors disturbed. Auto uh, would have been rocking noticeably. Two people felt, sent in felt reports to um, EMSC, but they don't have them posted. Uh, so it would be about 3.7 miles below sea level. All earthquakes are measured from sea level. 6.1 kilometers in depth. Here's that earthquake as it came in at Yellowstone. Let's see, which one should I make the largest? Um, let's go with Maple Creek. Okay, let me bring it down. And we'll go to the spectrogram. Right there, yeah, it shook up the caldera. They just might upgrade it because of um, more people if they sent in re felt reports. But I get a magnitude 3.64. And see, I was checking uh, these earthquakes out that were happening at Yellowstone. This one, I don't know. Supposedly in Fiji, there was a 7.1 this morning. And then over here... Uh, let's see, uh, at 9.59 Universal, that one's supposed to be a magnitude 3.5 that happened there. Let me show you on the map. All right, so we'll go from the Salt Lake City one to the one there in, in uh, Utah. The black line drawn out is the area of uplift for Yellowstone. Let me bring it out. And that was a 3.5. And I'll bring it out a little bit more. Okay, right there. Looks like they may have changed the location of where they thought it was originally when I was working on this. Maybe not. Anyways, there's the location. On the stream view, there's that earthquake there. Um, right up over here. This one right here. This is the one that just came into Utah. Looks like we got another one. Another one right there. I have to see where that one happened at. Like I said, it's going to be a busy day. All right, I'm back. My daughter showed up. My son showed up with his girlfriend. All the grandkids are here now. So I had to stop for a little bit. You can see we got another earthquake that came in there. Another one there. And yeah, this one. I don't know. Um, yeah, lots of shaking. So anyways, this one was, um, a magnitude 3.64. They did upgrade it, I believe, to a 3.6. Yeah, the cats are fighting. No fighting. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. They're all on edge, I guess. They know more earthquakes are coming. Yeah, you can see here from when I did uh, last time downloaded. Lots of small earthquakes. Yeah, 1304 Universal. 
not being reported. They got two here on this map. If I bring it out a little bit for the one in Utah. Um, okay, what do we got here? Okay, 3.6 by Utah. That's the one there on the inside of the uplift of Yellowstone, 3.5. Um, a 0 0.2, yeah. Um, that's up there by the Madison River area. A 1.9 also there for Utah at 18.01. And I believe that's all. Oh, okay, we got another one for Utah. A 1.7. And let's change this to mi miles in depth. Okay. 4.1, uh, 4.3 miles, 3.1 miles. Oh, that's um, mammoth. And then uh, 6.4. And then the larger one in Utah, a 3.8 miles in depth. All right, so this one at 1320, let me bring it down um, on 1.52. And we got another small one right there. That one's a little bit bigger. At 1304, that's a 1.62. And we'll close this out. Um, yeah, look at them all. Lots of rattling. Again, I believe this one here. 1101 very well could be the 7.3 that they had in Tonga Yeah, look at the heat how it shook up the caldera Yeah, look at this at um, Moose Creek, Idaho and then this here is Pelican Cove uh, Let's make this one bigger and we'll go over. Yeah, look how it just Shook it up and all that hot gas and hot water came up now, this is Moose Creek, Idaho, and we'll bring it down so you can see the other quakes. Yeah, going to be a busy day. Busy, busy. Yeah, okay, so that one's 1346, that's Utah. And we got another one here at 959. So for the one in Utah, um that USGS is saying was a 3.5. EMSC says with 3.4. The comments are now showing. Woke me up, only felt it for about two seconds. It was long and strong. Another one says laying in bed and felt the bed shaking. Wasn't violent, but definitely was obvious there was an earthquake. And that's the two they have. All right, and this one here is the 3.5 that they're listing for Utah, or excuse me, Wyoming. And we got another one here at 925. That one is not being reported. That one comes in as a 3.11. Why are they not reporting it? Here you can see um, 1017 and then 308. That's Hedge and Lake. At, um 308 and then Utah yeah again boy they've just been rocking as a 1.7 11 earthquakes within the last week in this area let's zoom in yeah bring them sit uh, bring them city yeah they got four it looks like in that area now listed no nope, more let's see uh six well at least the uh, fog if it was fog or yeah, it might be fog. At least that cleared up a little bit. And you can see the uh, areas. Um, you know, they built the hotels and all that on areas um, which were part, part of the thermal plume for Yellowstone. And you can see where, yeah, different areas that are warm over here on the right. I don't know. They're just kind of jumping around with the camera right now. Yeah, but at least we got a clearer image of it. So, what are your thoughts? Yeah, increase of earthquakes around the world. Oh, my goodness. Yep, diverse places. Um, those of you that believe in the Bible like I do, yeah, it's all been prophesied. It's only going to get worse. So, what are your thoughts? 
please put those comments down below thank you very much for watching yeah look we got some steaming back up over here by the cabins yeah uh thank you for subscribing thank you very much for your support please stay safe and i will talk to you later god bless you bye